Hi guys and welcome to a first for my channel. Uh, inspired by Adam Savage's One Day Builds, I decided to do a one day build. And in typical one day fashion, which of course everyone knows, a one day build never takes just one day. And I failed miserably. <laughs> I think mine uh, took about eight days to complete. And if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, then you already know what I'm talking about. I was trying to rack my brain thinking, what can I build in a day? And what you don't see very often, or ever really, is the carry box in Gremlins. Uh, so I thought I'd have a go at building the gizmo box. So let's take a look. So here we go guys. So with it being a one day build, obviously I don't have uh, the same setup that Adam Savage has. So I couldn't show myself building it as I was going. And I obviously was really attempting to try and do it in a day. That didn't happen. <laughs> so... I'll go around and I'll tell you everything that I've done. It's all reclaimed wood. Um, the base itself, the bottom section, is done in a, a gloss mahogany. And then the other bits of wood that we've got going on here is basically just dark oak satin. And then I clear coated it all in a satin anyway. Um, the leather straps I had laying around because my granddad offered me a leather sofa which I didn't want but I said if you're going to take it to the tip I'll have the leather no idea what I was going to do with the leather but obviously this <laughs> um, yeah it took like 8 days to complete and that's basically because I didn't have certain materials which I had to go shopping and search around for which was basically the upholstery nails which I went with like an antique look and also the uh, the jute sheet or hessian sheet whichever you prefer and I also had to source a wooden handle because everywhere now they just do plastic handles on buckets and stuff which wasn't any good for me uh, I did have a plastic one but it, it looked naff and I thought I'm not, I'm not going to all this effort just to put a plastic handle on it so I went out and uh, found one had to buy a bucket for it like but you know the buckets come in handy because all the offcuts of this one in the bucket so <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, really, really good. Um, I was trying to find if you can make out just these little sections here to tie on the string. Couldn't find anything anyway, and then it suddenly hit me that I've got a tin of Meccano from when I was a kid, and I kept it. So all these little brackets here are basically Meccano, and they, they are strong enough, you can actually pick the box up, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, the actual... Uh, fronts here, this this is just styrene basically, I made um, a cardboard cut out, a template so all of them would be the same size and going around doing all them, that, that was like five hours in itself, just cutting out these it was a ridiculous amount of time and I, I, I did it straight through so they got done in a day <laughs> uh, so that's a mini victory and then I just used normal uh, craft acrylics basically on it. I wasn't too neat because it doesn't look that neat. And uh, before anyone says anything, I know this isn't a prop, uh, prop reproduction at all. Um, I actually watched the movie the other night and mine is slightly taller. This should be just a bit shorter. But this is designed for the Necker plush toy. So I didn't copy off any of the original measurements of the prop. Um, I didn't even look for them to be honest. But I tested out my router skills. Putting in all the little uh, details at the sides. They came out really really nice. Um, what else? Yeah, I weathered the, the jute in dark oak. And I also went in with the airbrush with some black. Um, just to... Uh, darken up the sides really to give it a bit of age I also went around with a hammer and whacked it a few times <laughs> and then the uh, dremeled the hell out of it to because we don't want any splinters but uh, yeah it's a really really fun project to do and I'm quite happy with it as well because I built my own feet and everything everything's scratch built um, but yeah you, really what you want to do is take a look inside don't you so we'll be right back just have to be fairly quiet because Gizmo's just singing away inside. So you just basically unhook it like that, like the original box. So 
So we've got leather straps on the inside to hold it open. I'll have to take you off the tripod, I think. And then inside, we've got giz. And I also went ahead and actually printed off the three rules, which we'll have a look at in a minute. <laughs> But yeah, he's quite happy in there. He just fits because I didn't have Gizmo originally. I had to go off a review on YouTube to find out his measurements. But if Gizmo did stand up, it'd be about there. So it's just about the uh, whoo, right size. Don't fall, Giz. We'll just turn him off for now. I think I've nearly uh, killed the batteries in that. <laughs> it's been cracking me up a bit. So, yeah, like I said before, because it was a one day build, I didn't take footage of me building it, but what I did do was take about 50 pictures. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'll insert the pictures in this video, so I apologize in advance for the annoying music. I'm sorry, but it, it seemed kind of fitting. And then we'll take some uh, pictures and put them on the end of the video and we'll be right back. So, catch you in a bit. Before I insert uh, all those pictures, um, I printed this out. I stained the paper with a decaf. So, I mean, if you want to pause the video there and read, be my guest. But basically, it's just the three rules. Because you've got to know how to look after your mogwai. You definitely don't want an epidemic on your hands. So, yeah, I'll uh, put in the slideshow now and we'll be right back, guys. See you later.
So guys, um, that's it. Um, I have to say a massive, and I mean, I mean this as well, like a massive thank you to people on Facebook. It is insane. I did a 50 second video, which was just a quick look around. You might have seen it maybe. That's almost up to five and a half thousand views, which is incredible. So thank you very much for anyone that sat through 50 seconds of that. Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully this video will do the same. Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, a really fun project. I think I'll definitely build another one in the future. Um, I haven't forgot about Smoking the Bandit. Uh, that's getting done too. But uh, yeah, to everyone that shared uh, and liked and watched, thank you very much. I can't believe it's up to like five and a half thousand views. My sister actually messaged me and it was like, what the hell? <laughs> so, yeah, thank you very much to everyone for that. And like I said, hopefully this video will get just as many. You know what? Let's aim for 10,000. 10,000 views. <coughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but uh, again, thanks for watching. Uh, thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, um, and all that good stuff. And if you aren't, aren't following me on Facebook, follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. I post more stuff basically to Facebook and Instagram anyway but um, yeah I will catch you in the next project which will be very very soon see you later